I want to um, congratulate you all on coming to this course. Um, you are all in an excellent position to earn a very fine grade because we want you to all get top grade in this course. And we are going to do everything we can to make it easy for you to do that. Um, of course, that doesn't mean that there's no work on your part. So we need your help so that we can be justified in giving you a good grade. Um, as you probably know already, everything is going to be done in English in this class because neither Sally nor I understand Thai particularly. Um, you don't have to speak correct English. You don't have to speak perfect English. What you have to speak is good enough English that we can understand what you're trying to say. Because if we can't understand you, we can't understand you. And that's all there is to it. <laughs> but we're not going to be very picky about it. We're not English teachers. We're not grammar teachers. Um, okay, these are the, this is the general outline for today. The first question, the first topic here is... Who are we? And already I need to zoom out a bit. Uh, my partner here is the Dr. Sally Golden. Um, we're both from the United States, as you probably know. Um, Dr. Golden has uh, been, uh, well, two of us have been working together for a good many years uh, doing consulting in industry. We're primarily... Uh, bringing to the university here a perspective on what it's like to be in industry. Um, we don't recently come from academic positions in the United States, um, although we have both taught uh, previously at AIT up in Rungsit. Um, Sally's work um, at uh, Carnegie Mellon and previously at Brown in psychology, uh, moving over into um, artificial intelligence and um, um, computer research. Um, my own work um, at uh, the University of Wisconsin and the University of Massachusetts in cognitive neuroscience, which is not something one hears a lot about, but it has a lot to do with things like neural networks and so on. Um, none of those have anything to do with software engineering. Um, what does have a lot to do with software engineering is our experience in industry of seeing a lot of companies, a lot of organizations sometimes succeed, more often fail at their software engineering tasks. Um, so we're bringing you the very immediate experiences of having, having lived through the process of software engineering evolving into what it is today. And we'll have quite a bit to say about just what it is today, which is nowhere near perfect. Um, in addition, I would like to introduce Kun Varin, who is our teaching assistant for the class. Um, there's a lot of people here. We don't want to put too many demands on Kun Varin's time, but it may be that if there's something that you need explained uh, in Thai um, or whatever, you know, you, you occasionally want to go to her and ask her for some advice. Um, this, is, this is not an excuse to not pay attention in English in this class <laughs> because she, can, she does not have enough time in her life to repeat the lecture for all of these people. <laughs> anyway... Um, the process, the nature of the course, we want, we are interested in you learning the general concepts of software engineering. Now, one of the things about software engineering is that it is changing very rapidly. As I'll say in a little while, it's an attempt to deal with certain kinds of problems and the, the way that they're dealt with are not perfectly understood at the present time. So our standing up here and requiring that you learn every little bit about some package or process or tool 
which is in use today or maybe was in use yesterday, that doesn't make any sense because that's not what you're going to have to deal with two or three years from now. We want you to learn the principles behind the things so that when you meet something new, you'll understand it. You'll see how it fits in. You'll see maybe how it's better or worse than what was there before. You'll understand the context that you're working in. Um, and if you come into an industrial organization understanding that, you'll be one of the few who do. So, our... <laughs> Um, as I said, we're going to be introducing to you the skills and the tools that appear to be popular at the present time or that have a historical importance in our opinions. And if you read other books than the one we're, if you read the book, the textbook we're assigning, if you read other books from other authors, you'll find a different emphasis. There's no question about it. Uh, we had a great deal of difficulty selecting a text for this course because we disagreed so much with so many of them. Um, the book that we did choose is this one here. <laughs> and one of the first things I asked myself when I saw this book is, what does the cover have to do with it? Um, and, in fact, I can't find anywhere in the book what this cover has to do with this book. But, um, and this is the, um, the American edition. I believe that there is an Asian edition which is much less expensive and probably not as glossy, but it should be the same content. Um, it looks to be a good book. It looks to be well-written, easy to understand. Um, and as we go through it, we'll be selecting individual chapters, not every single chapter. Um, as we go through it, we'll point out places where we agree and disagree or uh, feel that they put the wrong emphasis on things. Yes? Um, I am told that this book should be available now in the bookstore. I can't promise anything about that. Um, we ordered it a month ago, I think. Um, Homework. Um, there is homework in this class. I hate to tell you. Um, a lot of the homework will be around things like uh, doing exercises in, in creating a design or whatever. But the course is not primarily about design. It's primarily about the process of doing it. So... When it comes time to looking at your homework, we're not really going to be concerned with, is it the right answer? We're going to be concerned with, does it seem to address the question that was asked? In other words, if you give us a blank piece of paper, file, you know, that's not addressing the question. You know, if you say, well, I think that the solution could be done in this way or that way, or I think this is a good approach for it. It doesn't matter whether you're right or wrong about it as being a good approach. What matters is that you've thought about it and that we can see that you've thought about it. Um, so if you, get, if you do the homework, if you give it in on time, then you will get full credit for the homework. Okay. Um, if it's late then we'll give you partial credit depending on the particular assignment and how late it is. Um, but we don't want it to be late. We'd rather have you do it on time because, partly because we're going to be discussing it in class. Uh, not yours necessarily, but some examples of it. So, you know, doing it late is better than not doing it at all, I suppose, but it's not really fair to the other people. Um, we have also been told that there is some tendency for uh, people to get together and maybe share submissions of homework when that's not really a proper thing to do. And unless we tell you to work in a group, which we will sometimes, um, unless we tell you that, what we're going to do is take a look at the three or four copies of the homework that are the same and divide the credit equally among those people. So... Um, if you want to uh, share 